Hey good people, it's Tina from Pit Stop Kitchen and Garden and today I'm going to do a quick video to show you guys what happened to my grapevine. Now the first time it was the birds, I can't blame the birds, but I am going to blame something. Look at this. You guys see that? This is the work, this is from Thrips. So the first thing I noticed was that my leaves started curling and I thought it might have been because I was over watering or not enough water and I couldn't really figure it out. So I went to my trusty garden group and as soon as I put it in there, they let me know that it was thrips. One, a couple people were kind enough to actually post articles that had pictures that looked just like this. So these i know you guys can't see it i mean can't feel it but these are like rock up oh, well i was able to squeeze that so i got some juice out but these over here are like hard but they're you see those would have been good grapes but anyway so the only way that you can really deal with thrips are basically to spray it down with neem oil so i've done that i'm on my like third day of spraying it down every night with neem oil and unfortunately they got a hole they got a hole of this 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 one too you guys see that I have more over here but these might be okay if I can get the thrips under control or maybe not I don't know they might be okay but would have had some good would have had a good harvest of grapes had the thrips not come in to play so at least we know for next year to make sure that we um use a dormant spray not just on the trees but also on the grapevines and whenever i start seeing the leaf curl or whatever to just spray it down and hopefully we can get this under control but that's it quick video take care be safe i was gonna end the video there but i need to show you guys what thrips look like on a uh, nectarine tree because I, I recently found out that they've um, gotten a hold to my um, my nectarines too. So you see how they're not, they're hardly growing and they have all those scar and some kind of sap that's, you see how they're sticking out so just so you guys know that's how it looks and this is what we're gonna do to try to treat it okay so as you can see mr t is putting some kapow um, yeah kapow into he figured that this can cover more area like when you put it in one of these things and then hook it up to the holes so we're gonna put some kapow. It's supposed to be all natural. It has a whole bunch of um, lemongrass, castor oil, soap, water. And then he's gonna throw a little bit of neem oil and eucalyptus in it. And then we're gonna spray down our trees and respray down our grapevine. Okay, so we had to wait till the next day but it's trying to drench everything. And he actually took some off of those. And we basically trying to just like cover all the trees with a little solution. And we had it hooked up to that. So we had to get a new thing and hook it to the holes. And we're just pretty much drenching everything. And we're gonna get all the trees. And as you see, we're doing it at sundown. 
so you know it won't be too hot and fry up everything it's usually around 70 and 80 at night so by the morning it should be dry but anyway we're gonna do this and um just give you updates hopefully this will stop the thrips if not our buddy i feel from a q gave me a um, website and i ordered some of the stuff so um i got that as a backup so if this don't work i'll be getting that and putting that on it but one way or another we're gonna be done with the whole thrip situation hopefully